Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing oil eater products to see how well they remove grease from around my home. A little bit ago, a representative from Oil Eater reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in testing some of their products. At first I was hesitant because I'm like, well, I usually do bacteria testing, but then I said, you know what, I have a workshop and a garage that's full of some grease and grime. We definitely have oil spills and hydraulic fluid spills and things like that. So I said, why not give this a try? I just received my package from Oil Eater, so let's open it up and see what we've got inside. So inside the box is a couple different products as well as some literature. I'm gonna have a look at the literature first. So it just says oil eater uh, made in the USA, cleaning made better for 30 years. All right, oh wow, look, a whole bunch of stuff. This is probably all their products. So it shows their cleaners, degreasers. It says safely dissolves grease and oils on almost everything. It's a biodegradable formula, that's great. Color safe, non-flammable, and ultra concentrated formula. Okay, they have an overnight stain remover, all sorts of different products here. Okay, so we have the oil eater drip and spill absorbent pads. Okay, this is good, it says absorb drips, clean, spills, protects surfaces, it's a six pack, it's 15 inches by 18 inches. This is great for oil leaks and much more. Um, can absorb oil, coolant, grease, gasoline, and other liquids. Next, we have the oil eater cleaner degreaser. Let's see, the pro strength formula dissolves grease, and dirt from engines, wheels, tools, grills, driveways, lawn furniture, and more. It's a non-flammable formula. No acids or abrasives or petroleum products. The directions for you say, for general cleaning, dilute with water per chart below, and they do have a dilution chart. Use undiluted for the heaviest duty jobs. Spray on, lightly scrub the surface with a wet brush or sponge, rinse with water. And they have the chart here for heavy duty cleaning, medium duty cleaning, and light duty cleaning. All right, good. Next, we have the Oil Eater Overnight Rust Remover. This looks interesting. This makes up to one gallon, okay. So this is a safer, easy way to restore household and industrial tools, automotive, marine parts, antiques. All right, so we're gonna remove rust from a rusty product. I'm sure I can find something rusty in my husband's garage at workshop, so we'll test it on that. So the directions say, read the full label, test for discoloration, solution may darken metals, clean off any grease or loose debris, dilute the solution with three parts water to one part solution. This bottle makes up to one gallon. For heavy rust, the solution can be used at full strength and allow to soak for 12 to 24 hours. If needed, use a brush to agitate heavy rust on the surface. Remove part and rinse thoroughly with water. Wipe off all residue with a rag. If rust remains, repeat application. Formula can be reused until it's no longer effective. Okay, interesting. And the last thing in the box is the Oil Eater Overnight Stain Remover. All right, it says it pulls out oil stains in three effortless steps. Apply, dry, and brush. Helps restore surfaces like concrete, brick, and stone. So this is probably something that I'll use on the floor in the garage where we have some staining. So the directions for use, we're gonna shake well, test for discoloration, remove loose debris and surface oil from the area to be treated, apply to a cool, dry surface. Don't apply outdoors if rain is predicted or if it's raining. To maximize performance, do not apply on hot surfaces. It's not recommended for asphalt as white residue may occur. That's good to know. So step one is to pour the stain remover directly on the stain starting in the center. Completely cover the stain up to one inch around the perimeter of the stain. Step two is wait to dry until fully dried into a powder, which is typically about 12 hours. Drying time will vary based on temperature, humidity, and ventilation. And step three is brush off. The dried powder using a dry, stiff brush. White residue may remain on the surface. Clean residue with firm, dry brushing, then a strong rinsing. Okay, if the stain remains or reappears, repeat the steps above. Okay, severe stains may require multiple applications. Note, if a stain has already bonded with the surface, it may not be possible to reverse discoloration completely, but can help improve appearance. So what I'll do is ask my husband to kind of show me around the garage and the workshop and find different places that we can test out and use these products and we'll take it from there. 
So let's see how well Oil Eater products remove some grease and grime from around my home. Let's go into my husband's garage and see what we can find. We can test this degreaser on. So this is where we park, well, I park my car here. Um, and my husband does some work on the cars. And I saw this. So we're gonna test the degreaser with this tray that looks like it has all sorts of oil and grease on it. Okay, so moving on, my husband said that there was a valve something leak in his Scion. So he put up the hood for me so I can take a look. So let's have a look and see if we can clean that up. Next, let's have a look at my father-in-law's backhoe. It has a bit of an oil leak, and my husband said it uses regular, I think he said 10W30 oil. So this is the kind of oil that's used in a regular car, but I think we'll be able to see it visibly easier here because it's leaking on the part that's orange. That's pretty impressive to me. Um, and that was just using the one to 20. Now I'm not gonna clean the entire backhoe because um, it's a backhoe, but at least you can see the difference here and here um, that this oil eater did make. I mean, that was just the one to 20 dilution and it really wiped off nice and easily. Next, let's have a look at my husband's project car. This is a Sky and I think he said there was a leak in it here, valve leak or something. So we can see some grease here. We'll try to clean that up.
Let's see if we can clean some of these grease marks off of the garage door. So I'm going around the house cleaning different tools and grease and stuff and so my husband asked me if I would have a look at the boat. So this is our boat that we got a couple years ago and when we got it, the engine was cracked. So we knew this when we bought it. Um, and so my husband said that when that engine cracked, the oil like splish, all through to the anchor well. So there's oil all stuck in the carpet in the anchor well. So I'm going to see if we can get some of that out. So now I'm in my husband's workshop and we have plenty of stains on the floor in here. He has said that there's probably brake fluid stains, motor oil, grease, all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to do is go around with him and he's going to point out different stains to me. I'm going to mark them with blue tape so I know what they are and then we'll test the overnight stain remover. This stain is Gear Lube SAE90. This stain is just regular motor oil. This stain is brake fluid. This is motor oil that's been here for a while. Bar chain oil.
I'm in my husband's workshop now so I can find some rusty tools or parts or something to test the rust remover. Some little rusty things in here. It's a long rusty thing. These look rusty. I'll take these. I don't know what this is. Well, it's rusty. I forgot to mention in the beginning that even though this video is sponsored by Oil Leaders and they sent me these products for free, they have no editorial control over the video and they won't be receiving a copy of the video before I release it and all of the opinions are my own. Overall, Oil Leaders did a good job removing grease and grime and rust from different things in my husband's workshop and garage. Let's break it down and talk about each product. Oil Eater Cleaner Degreaser. I love this. I think this worked really well. I would encourage everybody to start with the one to 20 dilution. If that doesn't work well enough, then go to the one to three before you head off and try it full strength. I was really impressed with how well even the one to 20 worked. There's definitely places that I tested that needed something stronger than the one to 20. The one to three was great for most of the applications. Every once in a while, I did have to use the full strength. Um, the scent is pretty pleasant. It's kind of a citrusy scent. It didn't bother me. It didn't make me cough at all. Um, so it does have a bit of a scent, but it's not overpowering or anything like that. But it did work very well. Let's have a look at some of the before and afters. Here's that garage door. And for this one, I think there was the one to three that really was able to remove a lot of the grease and handprints that are on the door. It did a fantastic job. Let's take a look at that tray that had all that grease and grime on it. So you can see the section with the one to 20, the one to three and the full strength. It was able to clean the entire tray and it looks fantastic now. I also tested the cleaner degreaser with the carpet that's inside the boat. That has been such a mess. Now that oil stain has been there for years, years and years and years, okay? Because that engine got cracked and the oil spilled in there before we got the boat and we've had it for a couple years and my husband has tried to clean it up. I know he told me he definitely tried Dawn and it didn't seem to do anything. Let's have a look at that before and after. Now we will probably spray it and scrub it again. I didn't want to go through a whole bottle 
just to get this one part clean because I wanted to test other areas. We were both very impressed with how well the cleaner degreaser was able to pick up and remove the grease out of the carpet. That stain, like I said, it's been in that carpet for years and it did a fantastic job. We were very impressed with that. Let's talk about the absorbent pads. So I tested these using antifreeze and used motor oil and they were most certainly able to absorb much more than just the paper towels that I put on the ground to compare. There's one thing that I would like to see though. So I would like to see one side have like a plastic sheet, kind of like a Chuck's pad has or like um, some puppy pee pads have. I think that would help in cases of like really big major spills. But overall, they did a good job at absorbing those fluids. Next, let's talk about the overnight stain remover. This one was really easy to use. Now you'll notice in the video, I only placed the cleaner on a small portion of the stain. I did not cover the stain completely like the directions state. They say you should cover it completely and go out actually an inch because I wanted to be able to see the difference between you know before and after just on one screen. Overall, it did a good job. It did struggle with the used oil stain that was in my garage, it has been there for a couple of years. I did try that two days in a row to see if we could get any up. It did um, decrease it a bit, but not as much as it did the fresher stains that we had in the workshop. Let's take a look at those again. It did a great job at removing that brake fluid stain, the used motor oil stain. You can see the outline exactly where the overnight stain remover was. In the Gear Lube SAE 90, it did a fantastic job. I mean, look at that difference. Let's talk about the oil eater overnight rust remover. So the first thing I did was gathered up some different rusty things that I found in my husband's workshop. I made the solution with one part oil eater rust remover and three parts water like it says in the directions. And I let them sit overnight. And in some cases the rust was able just to be rinsed off or scrubbed lightly with a brush. In a few cases I decided to put them in the full strength for 24 hours in which case we had even better results and even more of the rust came off. It did struggle a bit with one of the bolts. Let's have a look at some of those pictures. The little bolt is the one that it struggled with. I mean, perhaps if I had a little more strength in my arms or something, maybe I could have scrubbed it a little harder, but, or it might just need another soaking overnight. The longer bolt did great. This got cleaned up beautifully. The even longer bolt looks fantastic. It looks absolutely great with the rust gone. It did a good job removing the rust on this big thick bolt and it did a great job removing the rust on this rod. So overall, I'm very pleased with all of the oil eater products. They all worked very well in and around my husband's workshop and garage. I think my favorite one though is going to be the cleaner degreaser spray. This seemed to work really well everywhere that I tested it, whether it be the 1 to 20 or the 1 to 3 dilution, it was able to cut through the grease and grime wherever it was sprayed and wiped. But they all did a good job. I was surprised at how well that overnight stain lifter worked. I actually, I didn't think it was going to be able to remove some of those stains. The absorbent pads work so much better than just paper towels. And the rust remover will most certainly be able to restore some tools and parts that have rust on them. These products make a great addition to our variety of cleaning products that we have in our home. These are going to live in my husband's workshop and garage where they will be used the most. So thank you Oil Leaders for thinking of me and sending me these products to test. They did a great job and they most certainly have made my home less greasy and grimy. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email before you mail me a product. I want to have a conversation with you before you mail me a product. You never know if something you're going to mail me is something that I have in my home already, just being ready to be tested or something perhaps that I've already tested. So send me an email first. That's also in the description so we have a conversation about it before you mail me a product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.